Hello everybody, this is Dooch, and I'm once again going to be bringing you audio commentaries from WCReplays.com. The first one is going to be my, between myself and Min Tosu. Um, he's a level 21 orc, and we'll load up the replay and get it paused in a minute. Now, this replay I just um, found out about this way of playing, thanks to np.psycho. Um, before this I was just going riflemen and sorceresses, and I still didn't have um, huge problems with orc, but now with this I just think, boy, well, orc are kind of screwed against this. Um, I don't really see too much that the orc can, the orc can do, and I'll, I'll explain more what I'll be doing after. Um, we'll just unpause this replay. Three, two, one. Go. Okay, so the whole idea of this is that orc, orc's anti-air consists of bat riders, uh, headhunters, raiders. That's pretty much it. Like wyverns, um, well, I guess you could say wyverns because they can hit air, but not much else from orc is uh, good against hitting air. So, and then when you count the fact that dragon hawks can net air units, orc are pretty much left with raiders and headhunters. Um, and raiders suck. Um, they're good if you've got um, a bigger army. If the orcs got a bigger army and they can just net heroes and surround and stuff. But it just doesn't happen like that. Like I just think raiders they're just shit. I don't know why anybody gets them. They just I don't know. I just hate them. And then you're left with headhunters. Now the problem with headhunters is not that they don't do good damage. It's just that they've got too few hit points. Um, Against human, you've got clap. You've got the splash damage from the gri from the griffins. If the human chooses to, there's water elementals as well. I mean, blizzard as well. And so, considering all that, the, the orcs headhunters um, aren't a good solution to air because of everything else that the human has. So my strategy is like this is um, NP dot psycho um, alerted me to it, and so did. Ratmaster, like the game before this one, I played Ratmaster, he used to do audios as well. Um, and he said that he'd, he'd been having trouble with um, humans going air, but I, I couldn't see why because I thought headhunters were actually good. Um, so I'm just, I, I, I've always been sticking to Rifemen and Sorceresses. Um, yeah, so here we go. The, the farce is trying to harass me here. He's, he's, you see that little channel between my barracks and the trees? It's, um, normally I put a farm there to block it off, but this even worked better because you got a grunt stuck in there. It's a free grunt, grunt kill for me. So, if, if you're orc and you see a kind of trap like this, you just don't go in, you send your wolves in only. So I got a grunt there. Orcs should never lose grunts when they're harassing. And I think I lost two or so peasants. Yeah, anyway, so Ratmaster was telling me that um, he's been having trouble against air, and everyone's been telling me to try it, so I tried it. And this is the first time I've tried it, so I'm, I'm going to get better at it and, and stuff. But this guy's level 21, and he just couldn't handle it at all. So, yeah, the idea is that your tech um, is fairly fast at tier 2, but well, I haven't even teched yet. But um, you tech fairly fast, and then you get Dragon Hawks. And because orc needs to get some time before they like most orcs, they start off with grunts. Because of that, once you get dragon hawks, it takes them a bit of time to get enough hawks to counter. So during that time, I like to chuck up an expansion because the orc can't take it down at that time. And then you kind of set like you've got an expansion they, that they can't take down, and then you just go into griffins and knights, and they've just <laughs> there's nothing they can do. And I really do think that something needs to happen. Um, with orc anti-air, like uh, I was talking when I was talking to Ratmaster, I said maybe if they made uh, raider in snare area of effect against air, that'd make raiders semi-useful. An orc needs some kind of anti-air. But the the problem is, like the the reason why humans are so versatile is that their their anti-air units hit the air. Like with undead, their anti-air is fiend and it just webs the air. So the, 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 it's not um, a good anti-air solution, it's like, well web is good, but it's not as good as just attacking the air and killing it. Because attacking the air and killing it's a lot less micro than 
um, webbing and then focus firing and everything like that. So that's why human have, um, you know, that's why humans are versatile. So anyway, I've started teching now. I'm almost, I'm actually a bit over halfway there. I'm putting up another tower. I don't know, Ratmaster said to put up more three towers, but I couldn't see the need, so I only put up two. This is kind of like um, my undead strategy, except with undead I fast expand. Um, what else? Oh yeah, I think maybe human's air is too strong or something, because I used to be always going swords with some rifle, but now I only go rifleman against night elf, so hmm, I don't know. Let's look at hero levels. He's got a level 2 fast here. I've got a level 3 mage. Oh yeah, if you're going to do this, you have to build up a few footmen first. You can't just tech straight without footmen. But then once you get to dragon hawks, just kill your footmen or just let them die or whatever because they're just shit. So here I am, tier 2. I'm putting up two griffin avarys. And I'm building a extra peasants because I'm going to expand now. And what's he got? He's got four grunts and he's in tier two and he's got a spirit lodge. Now, casters can attack air but they've just got the shittest attack ever. Like they've got, um, I don't know, probably 12 damage or something like that. Um, Shaman's good against water elemental. Sometimes against orc I choose blizzard instead of uh, um, water elemental if they've got a lot of shamans. But but I was thinking this game, I remember thinking, oh, Blizzard would be good because he's going to have lots of headhunters. But um, I think I'll just stick with Water Mentals because I haven't tried it out, and Water Mentals is a tad safer. So here I am, I want my Mountain King to get this term of experience here, so what I do, I block the path of the term of experience just in case I get jacked. Um, that no one in here is going to run in there and take it. It's just and it's probably not even necessary, but I didn't want anything stealing it. So I'm moving four peasants into my expansion. They get found and they get raped. Two looks like, yeah, two die and two live. And what's he got? He's only got grunts. There's only his, his fast air can hit air. That's his only anti-air at the moment. And... See, you don't... Mm, I guess the towers help out here. But he's attacking my barracks, I don't know why he's attacking my barracks. If anything, he should have been attacking my shop. Or peasants. Also, I, th I don't think he should be... Well, he's so close to level 3, I don't know why he's attacking me now. So anyway, I've got two dragon hogs out, and suddenly he can't do anything against those dragon hogs. So this is... So, obviously, um, he has to start building headhunters now. While he's doing that, I expand. That's just how... That's that's the whole idea of this strategy. Um, so look at his barracks now. I wonder if he puts up two barracks, because I haven't seen his replay from his point of view. But probably a smart thing to put up two barracks. Is. <laughs> so now, I'm going to... Sorry. I'm going to creep the middle, because that's... They dropped two good items. And what do I see? I see the orc. So obviously the first thing you do when you've got a fast here like this, you bolt, but my mount can stuck like a faggot. Come on, that mount king shouldn't have been stuck, but as soon as he sees the mount king, he town portals, which is obviously the smart thing to do. So he gets one item and I get one item. Let's see what item he got. He got the Book of the Dead, nice item. And I get Passion of Great Healing, also a nice item. That, that middle is so good to crit. So I'm just, you know, making the Dragon Hawks, expanding, etc, etc. I put up 2,000 in my expansion. I don't know why, like, they might be needed or not. I slapped the experiment more with this, but Ratmaster seemed to think we had to, so I thought, mm, I'll do it like that. What he could be doing, I guess, is to um, expand at this time. Yeah, so now I um, get rid of all my footmen. They're going to die anyway to chain and wave, so I just let them die here. 
rather let him die here than to my enemy. I think I've killed a few. Or let a few die. I could have cunning. I mean, this this isn't like the most exciting replay, but I just wanted to show uh, this. Well, it's it's new to me. Probably most people have been doing this for ages, but um, it's new to me, so I thought I'd show everyone. So what's he got? He's got a level 3 fast seal. He's got a, the Berserk upgrade for his headhunters. I don't even think with upgrades headhunters would be any good because they still take the same like armor isn't taken into consideration with spells. So he could um, upgrade his headhunters to have three, three his third armor upgrade and they still would get um, raped by Blizzard and Clap. And I think next time I play an orc, I'll be going Blizzard and Clap instead of Water Elemental. This guy didn't go Shaman, so Water Elemental worked out fine. And now I'm taking a castle because Griffins is what seals it, basically. Dragonhawks just makes them go Headhunters, and then Griffins come and raid. It looks like we're going to have a fight here. Here he comes. My two towers placed conveniently behind my expansion so he can't get to them unless he goes around. I town portal, but I town portal to the wrong spot. I should be town portaling right on top of his headhunters there instead I portal to the back, so my Mount King's stuck. This pisses me off. Every time I town portal, my Mount King is always stuck at the back. Because I want to get into the front so I can clap all those um, headhunters, but I can't, so I'm just trying to. I moved my dragon hawks back so that hopefully his um, headhunters would find different targets, which I think they did. I'm not sure. So I do that again, so that he has to refocus on the dragon hawks. And now I'm just bolting his heroes and focus firing on air. That's the good thing about air is that they can just go wherever they like. So Soren Chieftain's not going to get away because I've got air. If I had Rothman, so he'd get away. So there we go, my Mount King's now level 4, which means level 2 clap. I put a lightning shield on his headhunter. Oh, this, that's what pissed me off, I remember that. I, I, cho I meant to choose the skill point clap, and I did. I had that menu open, but you know how sometimes that menu where to choose skill points closes? Friggin' annoying. So now my Mount King gets surrounded. I'm trying to, I want to get one more clap off, and then get the hell out. But... I had a huge lag spike there. I remember uh, vividly that my Mount King was not moving. I'm like, get the fuck out, Mount King, you dumbass bastard. So he just died. He paid the ultimate price. Poor guy. So now I start building Griffins, and the important thing with Griffins is the upgrade, um, which makes them do splash damage. Um, yeah, because that's what owns the headhunter so much, that you're hitting about five at once. Um, so yeah, I, I don't really know a solution to the problem, because the orc can go all anti-air and he's still going to lose to mass air, and when that happens, that's, <laughs> that's the problem. I don't know, maybe if they went mass headhunters from the start, with Torrent Chieftain first or something, I don't know or Blade Master first, how it would work, I, I really don't know, but Orc players, if, if there's any Orc players out there that know how to beat this, I want to see it, because um, I'm not too sure how, <laughs> which I'm loving of course. Oh yeah, so now I start building Knights, because you know, um, they start getting headhunters and you start getting knights. And so now their headhunters are going to be even more raped. Basically everything human has is good at killing headhunters. <laughs> Unless, um, maybe what or could do is... Mm, no, doesn't work.
So here we are, we pass each other, I see him, and I turn around, what's he got? He's got four, five headhunters as his anti-air. I try and get my mage out of there. I screwed up a bit here. So look, I've got four, oh, well now three, and some griffins. But here comes the Mountain King, see, this, this fight would probably be even. Then the Mountain King comes, clap, and all the headhunters just get owned. It's just, um, like I said, it's not the headhunters not being able to kill the griffins, it's the everything else of human is good at killing headhunters. Including griffins. So, I don't know if I've gotten the magic upgrade yet. Or the splash damage upgrade, I don't know, I can't remember. So here I am, I'm just going to heal and then attack. Puts up an expansion as well, which well, I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. Expansions are always those things, they sometimes pay off and they sometimes don't. They're kind of risky because they add another point where the other, your opponent can really put the hurt down but if if you get up and you can defend it then it's obviously good to have an expansion so I'm running low on wood which is annoying um, sometimes when I'm running low on wood I buy a um, I'm, I'm, what are they called those wood chopper things from the goblin lab yeah that's what I buy if you watch my VOD, I get one of them. Oh yeah, now I'm getting the hit point upgrade. Probably should have gotten that earlier because it affects everything. So here come the bat riders. I net one. I think one blows up. Yeah, one blows up. But <laughs> they do pathetically small amounts of damage for an anti-air unit. But I think they have to because if you mass them, um, they're, they're good against, like, good at raiding bases and shit. Maybe mass bat batriders would work against this. Like, maybe if the orc build for batriders, it would work. I don't know. Anyway, so that's the game that he left after Clap basically owned everything he had. So, there we go. If you've got a solution to that problem, let me hear it. Bye for now.